So we're going to rip you here at Columbus Zoo Sunday before noon, February the 2nd. On a beautiful sunny day here by the train station. It's even windier. I call this the top of the mountain. And you can tell it because of the wind. It's just, you don't want to live on top of the mountain. It just, the, the weather is just too severe. Those are our cattle from Ireland. Um, see the uh, pronghorn antelope out here? Sunning themselves on the hill from the zoos I remember when I was a kid was right here. And they had cheetahs out here. And that show that six million dollar man was coming out where the guy could run 60 miles an hour or something like that like a cheetah so the sheep are even out of the barn the chickens are up in their coop and the heaters on in there um, that water uh, water uh, windmill has a pump on it I'm not sure if it's functional now I thought it had an air pump on it I, I think I might be wrong okay the bison's clear up there Take a look at some chickens real quick in the coop. Yeah, they're right here by the door, big fat chickens. There's somebody calls them. Okay. They were taking the... Okay, the bison are up there standing. Way over yonder. The pronghorn are hornless currently. Um, really, uh, I don't think the bison shed their horns, and there was no change in the, uh, reindeer I would have showed you, but I did notice the, um, wolves devoured their, uh, elk sheds, and the, the big cats, uh, there was a lynx over here, but he was in the corner, I couldn't get a picture of the, the really beautiful lynx. I don't know why anybody would want to shoot an antelope, but these pronghorn, you, you'd have to be hungry to do something like that, you know. I just don't see the trophy end of it, how they do. I'm sure they're enjoying their, they're kind of blowing the smell off themselves out here today. And the winds helping dry things out. The birds are liking it. I, I smell, uh, I smelled a skunk up there where a, a skunk hit the elk. They've been chewing on this. This is, uh, we call it honey locust, which even has thorns on it. So I, almost looks like marks from a chainsaw over there. Oh, it's kind of interesting that the, showing the buffalo range and it's like a circle here and a circle there kind of thing so i'm not believing that at one time they were all over it's pretty obvious and it shrank to that area you can draw it any way you want it's your picture to draw oops i want to point my camera the right way but you know that's not really that great of a fence i mean not much better than anybody having a bullpen and it's even the wires on this side that's the wrong side to because it's what no yeah yeah to keep them in the wire should be on that side actually it's probably pretty high voltage going through them too but maybe maybe if that guy wanted out he wouldn't care her, her lady so yeah, still got your coat on, kind of going down the hill. We don't have many of them here in Ohio. But we have the side of the river right here, and so the side of the cut a ravine down. And that's why the, the river's there is because the water flows downhill. And right along the side of the river on the banks, beautiful hills, some beautiful bison. On February the 2nd, man, that's pretty, that's a beautiful thing right there. Here at Columbus, I'm glad everybody got out today. The kids are loving it, big time. I, I wish we could have got closer to the links. Oh yeah, perfect day out here.
Thanks for watching. I see other people taking pictures too. Bumpus, see you, everyone. Go, 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 go.